image collections is what we'll be talking about in this tutorial. In order to find image collections, go up to settings and down to image collections. And this is a fun little feature that we introduced a couple years ago, allowing the user to import their own finishes or textures. So you could take a picture of a piece of tile, import it into this folder, and be able to use it in Pro Kitchen. So let's take a look at our collections. Here we've got collections. We've got, I have some in here already. I've got some Cambry and some flooring. If we open them up, we'll just take a quick look. Here's the Bellingham Cambria and the Braemar Cambria. Here's a little bit of flooring. Not very exciting flooring there. But now to use this, once you open the fold, once you open the window, then you can either add a new folder, which would bring it down here. So if we want to import something that was not a flooring, say we wanted to import a tile, we'd add a folder, tile. And then once we've added that folder, we can add the image. And that's just simply click on it, locate your image. I don't seem to have one here. Locate your image, enter it down here, hit OK, and you'll pull it over here. We can edit it, you can remove it, but then once we close it, once you've imported that image, we can access it. We can access it a couple different ways. We can go to Design Settings and 3D. And here we can come in here. We'll just I'll just do Countertop, Select, User Collections. And if I'd imported one, it would have been right here. Just select it and OK. And there's your new countertop setting. Um, we can also access it through countertops for right here in countertop, attributes, texture, special, select, user collections. There we go, user collections. And if you're placing, say, a user shape, same way, right click. So user shape have turned into a countertop. You can, you can select it that way as well for user shapes. This makes it really handy. If our library is not big enough, you can import your own specific colors. Now these things will go on countertops and user shapes. Um, they'll go on wall surfaces and uh, pretty much anything that's not factory set. So you can't put it on cabinets, trims, or moldings, but you can put it on pretty much anything else. And this has been our image collections tutorial.